Music tastes good. Um, we're part of the uh, farm to table dinner experience tonight that they did for, uh, I guess, the select VIPs that are kind of looking for the food experience. Um, this is Diego, a really good friend from Mexico City. We met about five years ago in Mexico City. Uh, we're doing uh, cooking demos, and actually, uh, Diego at the time was uh, the guy kind of organizing the whole trip and going through the whole thing. And well, tonight we're going to be cooking some. We tried to do Mexican traditional with the local produce, so we're gonna make a, a taco. It's kind of a different taco. It has a plantain tortilla with beans and pomelo. It has biltong and it has a spicy salt, and salsa, and mole, and spout and beans. <laughs> yeah, the real yeah, awesome thing uh, was that uh, Music Tastes Good was able to put us in contact with a lot of local farmers um, and, you know, they kind of uh, were able to gather a lot of the local uh, fresh produce um, and, yeah, and we were able to make a dish out of it and uh, so a very traditional Mexican dish but using all the local produce and proteins from here from California. Oh, interesting. So tell me, like, something that you love to cook. What's your favorite thing? Oh, my favorite thing to cook, I don't know, but for sure it's Mexican food and risottos. I love to cook risottos. One of my favorite things. What about you? Especially, yeah, especially when risotto is done right. Just, um, you know, for myself, I'm a big seafood guy. So, you know, it's super easy to, to screw seafood up, so to me it's always a challenge, but if I can find something that's fresh um, and cook it, it's usually what I cook at home. So are you guys cooking in LA at all in the future? Do you have a restaurant in Long Beach? Do you have a picture that's cooking at? Or are you just here in the area too? Um, well, I have uh, Lola's Mexican Cuisine and the Socialist that's here locally in Long Beach. Uh, we've kicked ideas around to do uh, some projects in the near future, uh, probably here in the LA area. But I think that the next thing we're going to do is maybe I'll get up to Mexico City and we'll do some demos up there. That is awesome. So if Muse fans who don't know about Muse cooking, should they come for breakfast, lunch, or dinner? What do you think? Well, we're open for all three. Okay. Um, our brunch is awesome. Uh, the lunch menu is great too, but. Uh, dinner, you know, uh, is always great, but uh, we have a really good cocktail program, we have a really awesome, uh, we don't like to call it mixology, but um, we do have a mixologist on site that nice. puts all of them. How would you explain the lowest cuisine? I think it's the, the best approach to a real Mexican traditional food. Uh, is someone who's really into research and uh, travels a lot to Mexico to get the techniques to learn about professional Mexican chefs, so we really use uh, this interpretation of Mexican traditional food is quite uh, very good. And I don't know, I, I like it a lot, but there are, there are a lot of dishes that you really do like in my country, and I do like it. I, I totally recommend to all of us. Alright, so what region of Mexico is the When we first opened in 2008, it was uh, around uh, was from Guadalajara, which is where my parents are from. Uh, but I actually uh, broke out from that and literally started touring all of Mexico, uh, which is how I met Diego. Um, and now we've kind of brought in flavors from all over. You know, there are some uh, some some flavors from Mexico City. We do have the fresh seafood from Baja. Um, you know, we do have uh, some sticky ribs with like a mole from Eco from Veracruz. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's just all about the friendships that we have. Um, and, you know, whenever there's something that we really want to get creative with, I'll reach out to my friends, you know, I'll reach out to Diego. And, hey, with, you know, he's in the epicenter right now in Mexico City of like the, of the uh, gastronomical boom. 
So, you know, I'll call him and say, hey, what do you recommend? What are you guys doing up there? What are you guys cooking? And, you know, we'll shoot via text back and forth. And, I don't know, it's, it's a passion of ours. It is. It actually is. Well, thanks so much for talking with us. Can't wait to try your food. It was definitely Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.